Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 16th June 2023, Tapas has shown another remarkable capability. The UAV took off at 7.35 hours from aeronautical test range ATR Chitadurga which is 285 kilometers away from Karwar Naval Base. One ground control station and two ship data terminal were installed in INS Subhadra for controlling the UAV. The INS Subhadra is a Sukanya class patrol vessel of the Indian Navy. Earlier, this warship has been used to test the Dhanush, a ship launched ballistic missile and associated stabilization and launch platform. During the trial, Tapas performed the flying of around an altitude of 20,000 feet above the mean sea level. During its flight operation, Tapas has successfully demonstrated the transfer of command and control from one ground control station to the Indian Navy ship INS Subhadra, which was stationed 148 kilometers away from the Karwar naval base. The INS Subhadra then controlled the UV operation for 40 minutes during its three and a half hours flight duration. After trial, Tapas landed back at ATR Chitardurga. This test is called C2, that is command and control capabilities, to check the ability of operator to control the drone's flight, sensors, and payload. The C2 capabilities are essential for safe and effective operation of the UAV. The entire operation has demonstrated the Tapas capability as a male UAV which can not only be used for land surveillance but also used for performing the ISR missions in the blue waters where it can be controlled by Indian Navy ships with ship data terminal installed. While Indian Navy is all set to acquire 15 numbers of MQ-9 Sea Guardian hail UAVs, Tapas will supplement the Sea Guardian operation. During the recent trial, Tapas has also been seen with a belly mounted dome. The possible use of this dome is to carry the maritime surveillance radar. When it comes to maritime surveillance radar, India is again heavily dependent on Israeli ELM-2022 radar, which is integrated with naval LH Mark III and Donier Do-22 aircraft. Now, DRDO has developed its maritime patrol radar, also known as synthetic aperture radar, with sea clutter suppression features to detect small targets. In addition to the standard air-to-sea surface search modes with track while scan, this radar provides high resolution range signature and ISR image of the target which enables the user to classify the intercepted target. The radar also has an air-to-air -air mode to detect even the aerial targets. The radar has additional weather and beacon modes. It provides 360-degree azimuth coverage either in belly mounted or in chin mounted configuration. Now this radar generates electromagnetic pulses that illuminate the ocean surface. The radar pulses are reflected by the capillary waves which the wind creates at the surface of the sea. The reflected signal is then processed into an image where a clean sea will appear as a grey background, oil spills will appear as a dark areas and vessels and platforms as a bright spots. This radar has been developed for naval advanced light helicopter and can be fitted on fixed wing platforms as well. The user associated trials of the radar has been completed on naval ALH. During Aero India 2023, Jisnu Communication Private Limited has demonstrated the DRDO's maritime patrol radar. This radar will not only be used in helicopters and aircraft but will also be integrated with upcoming UAVs of DRDO such as Tapas and Archer NG. Tapas has also been equipped with medium and long-range electro-optical sensors to capture images and videos during both day and night operation. The video and images taken using the electro-optical sensor can then be used for surveillance and reconnaissance mission and provide information about enemy movements and activities. The images and video built using electro-optical sensors and synthetic aperture radar can be used to create high-resolution images which can be used for electronic intelligence, communication intelligence, and other ISR missions in all weather conditions. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. 
If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.